there. there. Are, are we, we doing, doing a new splash? Yes, we are. <sighs> well, would you look at that? It's already spoofy season. Well, hang on there. It's also Rocktober. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> Want to see a news package about it? Sure. This October, Valhalla is Rocktober. Rocktober is a month-long battle of the bands held every Friday at lunch on the East Lawn stage. Anyone can sign up. Solo singers, rock bands, duets, and can perform any song. Each performance will be recorded and put on the Orange Nation YouTube channel and voted on in the Orange Nation app. Let's talk with some of the contestants. Um, I'm Natalie Siliason. And I'm Kevin Siliason. And our band name is The Silver Sons. I play the guitar. And I play the drums. We're gonna play a song that is usually like a soft genre, but we're gonna make it more punky rock with some nice drums. Yeah. So, I hope to see some awesome diversity, you know, not just heavy metal to where everyone has a headache. I just hope to see a lot of fun shows. Hang out on the East Lawn every Friday for great live music by our very own Norseman. Sign up now in front of room 304, the ASB room. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, talk to Mr. Owens in room 304 or email him at joens at gohsd.net. Get your entries in soon and enjoy Rocktober. How about the sports? Roll it! Also, dress code. Dress up can be considered controversial and confusing to many students. The Saga Network took a look into this and tried to get some clarity on the ongoing situation. What's up, Norseman? I'm Ashley Leland with the Norseman News Flash, and I'm here to talk about the controversial topic of dress code in Arbor Let's see what our student and staff think about this topic. Do you think dress code is sexist? No. I don't think so. I don't think that they're sexist. All right, so I think, yeah, it is. Yes. Um, no. Well, because we dress code boys as well as girls. I think that the clothing that kids dress code is too revealing for school. Girls have a tendency to wear more of a variety of clothing, and uh, boys don't necessarily have the, those same kind of options. Um, you know, boys are in more pants and then a shirt or shorts and a shirt, and that's about it. So girls have that luxury of lots of different outfits. But like girls, like really, really. Like, aren't there for them? It just goes more towards girls. Do you think dress codes are useful? I think they're helpful, yes. Um, and I think overall, people here at Valhalla do a pretty good job as far as our dress. I think dress codes are useful. It just keeps students dressing appropriately, and maybe professionally, more professionally, for a school environment. The whole thing behind a dress code is if there's something that someone's wearing that creates a distraction, uh, it's taking away from the learning environment at school. And that's why it goes back to your original question where some schools have some things that are not allowed and some schools don't. It just depends on what the distraction is. Yeah. 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 There's, there's some people you have too many holes, you know, like. I mean, it's not just about the holes. There's some people that have shirts that have like have really bad messages. No, because you should be able to wear whatever you want. So what's your opinion on dress code? Some people believe it keeps clothes appropriate for school, and others believe it takes away from being able to express yourself. This is still an ongoing topic. See you next time on the Norseman News Flash. Hey, Mahala Norseman. We're getting ready for Mahala's third annual college and career week for our 12th grade students next week, October 3rd through the 5th. It's going to kick off on Wednesday night, October 3rd, for our 12th grade parent night. We want all parents of 12th graders and you 12th graders to attend. We will have SDSU Director of Admissions Matthew Hebert here to give a workshop. We'll also have workshops on financial aid and scholarships, uh, the college application for both the UC and the CSUs, and we'll have just a lot of things that you can participate in to make sure that you're ready to go for our college application kickoff. We will also be having on the following day, on the Thursday, October 4th, we will have workshops for seniors to attend in your English classes. So again, we're going to have financial aid, we're going to have, uh, if you want to plan for a career, go to a community college, you learn about the free college program through Grossmont and Cuyamaca. We're going to have a lot of workshop offerings, so look out for that next week and we'll get that information out to your teachers. And then finally, on Friday, October 5th, we will have our very first career fair here at Valhalla. And we are getting all the details together, but we have 
Grossmont College, Cuyamaca uh, College, Southwestern, Miramar. We have colleges coming to share all the programs that they offer. So you don't necessarily need a four-year degree to have a career. We'll also have EMTs here with their ambulance. We will have, uh, we'll have some parents here to share how they became a doctor. We will also have different resources from other industry uh, supporters. So please make sure and attend, get invested, get involved, and it's going to kick off College Application Month. So we're here for you as school counselors, and there's a lot of stuff happening. Thank you. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, that's about it for this week. I can't wait to start my Halloween costume. All right, we'll see you guys later. <laughs>